Yes guys, Squids Gaming here, and a brand new video guys, and we're back here today with none other than Terraria Quest 2 B Blastoise. So guys, last episode we did in fact get ourselves a full set of, of Crimson Armor of course, Crimson Armor being the best armor you can get. So I thought today, you know what, we're going to go and get ourselves another boss fight. We're going to get into a fight with none other than the King Slime. So we need to make a gold crown first of all, we've got plenty enough slime. So make it an anvil, we can make ourselves a gold crown, I believe, hopefully, fingers crossed. Get the gold crown, boom, let's put that on for now, just because it looks really cool. So now we're going to the, get the gold crown on for now, and take that weird thing off that mirage die, because it looks so weird with that on. So, and we're now going to go back over there and sort of, kind of, investigate the snow biome, because... Also, we got ourselves a new meteor, right, hit the ground, as I was sort of looking through this earlier. I sort of figuring out what to do, and I thought, you know what, we're going to go in the ice biome, because I want to get the ice boomerang. Because I know it has, it has basically a base 19 damage, and this only has 18, that only has 21, so we need some a better melee weapon. And plus, the next thing we can get is the Aqua Scepter, which we can get once we beat Skeletron, which I do plan to beat Skeletron in about 5 or so episodes time, so the next episode is going to be sort of getting ready to face Skeletron, mainly getting those new weapons, new potions, like I so said, we've got two healing potions, which are very, very nice. Thorns and Iron Skin are always good to have, but I want to sort of get I also want to get a grappling hook as well, because we haven't actually got one. We've only got, like, a fish and a crimson heart. Where's the fish, anyway? Just spawn back in. Is there. So we need a minecart, a mount, and a grappling hook. The grappling hook, I need to find the golden tinker, which I also want to do, because I want to reforge a lot of my weapons here. Because if I can get something like a legendary ice blade, it would be absolutely incredible. Probably give, us, probably give me something like 30 base damage, which would be incredible to have before hard mode. Now, in most of my series, I never really got past hard mode. This is the series I want to get past hard mode. Plus, guys, I'm giving you guys a chance, right, I'll put this in the description if you don't watch the whole video, but I'm giving you guys a chance to basically be in a Terraria series, because I've got this idea of having loads of custom vanity sets as, like, Marvel superheroes. So, like I said, I will put a lot, I'll put a notice, like, everything on Twitter and everything, if you guys want to be in a Terraria video, and part of a Let's Play, I don't have to talk or anything, if you want to be part of the Terraria Let's Play, then that would not only be greatly appreciated, but it look pretty cool. Because, you know, we get, basically what you do is you get yourself a custom vanity set, some pretty cool items, I think, as well. I think some of the ones you can get are, like, very, very nice. Like, I think the, I think the Wolverine one's pretty cool, and so is the Magneto one. Like I said, I've got loads of different sort of options to have as sort of vanity sets, so I thought, you know what, I'll do that with you guys, because you may want to join me. And a lot of people don't really play Terraria that much, it's not a very well-known game. It's quite sad, because it is a, one of the best games out there on the market. Like, I'm not saying that just because I play it a lot, but it genuinely is very good, it's like... If you look at this, I know people are like, oh, it's just like Minecraft, but it really isn't. Like, Minecraft and Terraria are not the same thing. Just because they both are a sandbox game and you build stuff, that doesn't mean they're the same game. Because Terraria, well, obviously it's 2D and Minecraft's 3D, but plus Terraria's got plenty more enemies, bosses, and a lot more armor, and just a whole lot more. Like, if you were to compare vanilla Terraria to vanilla Minecraft, vanilla Terraria is a lot better than vanilla Minecraft. Like, even some of the mods, like, Troy is still better than it, because Troy doesn't need mods to improve itself. Basically, Troy tries to, sort of, include all its content in one place, you'd have to go and mod the game. You can mod the game, there are quite a few cool mods, like the, um, Calamity mods, one of my favourite mods. And plus, you can download maps as well, it's a lot easier to download maps for Troy than it is to, uh, do for Minecraft. Because all you need to do for Troy is literally download the map from, um, a website and just put it into the Troy folder for the game on Steam, so it's a lot easier than doing it for Minecraft. So I want to go down this little hole here because I do want to sort of look for the ice boomerang. I never checked down here before, but I want to check down here again because I have no been known to miss stuff. So if we um oh, chest, let it go. I thought I'd miss something here. Ah, okay, so we've got why did I not why did I not pick up the ice boomerang before? It's only got 16 base damage. It's actually better than that, but that's still pretty nice. So we've now got ourselves a pretty awesome ice boomerang. We're gonna put that as a favourite. A lens, I guess, a lesser healing potion, or oh, right, yeah, I can get with that one, uh, I've already got enough. Uh, let's put a lens, put a lens together, put the gel together. Look at that, five gold coins as well, that's pretty nice. And ourselves some ruby and gold, so I'll leave that chest there, just for now. And yes, yeah, so if you guys do want to be in a Terraria series, just let me know. Um, send, me some, send me a message on Twitter, or just post in YouTube comments. And yeah, I'll get you hooked up with your own personal Terraria set. That I've custom made as well. I'm going to be doing a video on the custom made sets as well. So now what I want to do is I want to head over to the Crimson to be able to make the um, slime crown. So it's the first big opening I want to go to. 
hope there's no sort of like storm again because that storm was horrible last time we tried to get up here. So yeah, I do think Chari is a really underrated game. Like not many, not many many people know about it because people think oh it's just a copy of Minecraft when it obviously there's differences differences in both games. But I think Chari has enough different for it. differences going for it to be called its own game. Like I said, you can very easily say that T um, Overwatch is a copy of Team Fortress 2, which probably is. But still, uh, yeah, we're going to try and get to the main entrance now of the Crimson. These, walking in this game takes so long, like, because you've, so, you've got such a massive world, it takes you ages to walk across the world. So most of my videos I just spent walking across biomes. Although we did fight two bosses, I like, think. We fight two bosses in, la in one of the episodes, I don't remember now. This is, e this is episode 9 anyway, we're hopefully trying to hit episode 10. So it'll then be my longest running Trier series because my original Trier series I kind of didn't do it for very long because it was a bog standard vanilla, not really vanilla, but just basic Trier series, which isn't that fun. If I'm gonna be honest, if you've already completed the game once, it's not really much fun going back over again because you've got to mine for the ores, you've got to do loads of stuff like that, and the chest here. Okay, what's in here? Ah, my money. Thank you very much. Loot that. 14 gold coins. Just looted a chest and got yourself 14 gold coins. I'll take that with me. Ice right, chest. Nice. So, we, oh yes, on screen now you'll be able to see me crossing off the um, Ice Boom Banks plot weapons. I didn't cross that off before, but yeah, you'll see it being crossed off just now. Okay, so there's no sort of weird ice storm. I sort of built like a mini sort of bridge to be able to get up there, so that's really awkward. Um, I don't know why. Why did I say that? That didn't make any sense of what I was saying. Anyway, let's go down here. I don't want to get attacked by anything because I'm just not in the mood for it. Let's go away. Travelling Merchant, brilliant. I'll be finished in one second, dude. Uh, so, ooh, that's not good. Let's get the. Uh, Umbrella out. Like I said, it shouldn't be too dark because although we are in a cave, I do have some torches and I do have some more somewhere. Just can't see them. I don't want to get too far down into this. I just want to get my um, want to get to the crimson things. Well, I can't remember the crimson altars. That's what they're called. Crimson altars. I want to get to those things and then just get out of here because I don't like the crimson. I'm honestly, the corruption is so much better than the crimson. And the only reason you could easily say that, oh, why didn't you put it on the Crimson uh, Corruption World then if you like the Crimson's, if you don't like the Crimson so much? I did it as a random world just because I thought it would be a lot more fun. So, Ice Blade. So I, I didn't bring a torch with me, that was a really stupid idea. Does the thing emit light? That thing does not emit light. That's not helpful at all. Yes, the Ice Boomerang does not. Oh, that's cool. Luigi the Painter. That is proper cool. Yeah, the Ice Boomerang doesn't emit light. So, if I missed the Crimson Altars. I don't have I know because the altars at the other just down gone here. Luigi the painter. If only, if only he was a plumber, then that would have been so fitting. And of course, there are a lot of sort of like Mario references in this game. Um, ah, uh, you asked shop didn't you? Get away, blood crawler. Don't want to deal with you today. I want to do is kill you and the face monster. Are you kidding me right now? Back off, back off. That's what I thought. All oh, right here. So let's make ourselves a slime crown. Ah, take another first one. Put that back on and put the uh, die back on. If I, can, if I can find the die, where is it? It's there. Oh, put that back on myself and get yeah, make ourselves the slime crown. Boom. Oops. Craft. Uh, no, I want the recall potion. I need to find a magic mirror. That's what I need to do. And we're going to go over here, get ourselves a thorns potion, iron skin potion, and spawn in the king slime. Let's go. Let's do this. So, oh, right, so what's our defense? Our current defense is 27. I want to hang around the, um, whatchamacallit, the person that, heal, that not only heals you, but also gives you sort of, like, extra damage, extra, uh, defense. Oh, okay. Boomerang, which boomerang be good at this situation. Oh, this thing's very slow. It's very good at, oh, no, it's coming inside the house, coming inside the house, coming inside the house, inside the house. Ah! Actually, that's good. I can just fire it. I can fire this. I can just, I can just this to it, can't I? Run, jump, jump. Oh, no. Ah! Thank you, uh, nurse, heal. I, I can just do this now. It's probably the most slowest boss fight you'll ever fight, because King Slime, in early game, you literally want to fight it, and he's sort of anywhere near a sort of a door, because you can easily just sort of, like, run like it. Okay, there we go. Well, it's got the NPCs, NPCs attacking it as well, so this is a really good strategy. And that's a bit sort of, like, pointless, just literally just hitting it. Ah, okay. No, the, no, oh, no, don't die, don't die, no, 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 Amsila died, no, that's, that's a shame. Amsila's dead, that's not good, right, okay, this thing's doing no damage whatsoever, hit it.
Anyway, so we defeat the King Slam anyway, so we got ourselves a nice winter cape and ourselves some fancy dishes. Let's put one up there. There we go. That looks pretty cool. So I may have, you may have missed that last bit against the King Slam because the audio recording cut off, but we did beat it. I think you saw it anyway, I don't know. So that is very nice. We defeat the King Slam with our second boss down out of three because we lost to the Brain of Cthulhu. Now, will I be rematching the, I have the Brain of Cthulhu? I will not be rematching the Brain of Cthulhu. It's simply because I don't need to rematch him. I've already got everything I need from him, as in I don't need to fight him anymore because I've already got all the armor and everything. So it's pretty much pointless me fighting him anymore. Look at that, 74 silver bars. That is proper sick. However, I do want my gold crown back because that gold crown looks sick. So can I buy it again? Lens. Artery. That's disgusting. Um, can I buy... I can't make the gold crown again. It's a waste of money I don't get. Gold crown, I want it. Thank you. So, once we do get the full armor, yes, I will probably replace replace the crown with the sort of tortoise mask. But for now, guys, we did fight the King Slime and we got ourselves the Ice Boomerang. I'll call it a pretty successful episode. Thank you all so much for watching. I've been Squids Gaming and I'll see you all later. Goodbye.